Hi guys, welcome to another buzzing walkabout here on Buzzing Patea. And uh, as you can see behind me here, I am on Patea Beach, down on Beach Road. Look at that, I mean, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. And if I spin around a bit further, let's have a wander around. You can see, look at that, that's stunning. So today I wanna to talk to you about a question I get asked quite a lot about tipping, about when to tip, how much to tip, where you should tip and any other advice I can give you. And it's a really good question because there are a lot of things that perhaps we take for granted or we don't realize and I think it's a really good topic to cover. So we're gonna cover that, but before we do that, just have a look at this beach. Now, I was given some grief the other day because I, I described this beach as stunning and beautiful because the following reason. As you can see now, you know, this is an incredibly nice beach. They've done a lot of work on it. They really have, it really is absolutely a million times better than what it was before. And you have to remember that for a majority of us that come here, we're used to stepping over bottles that have been thrown on the sand, you know, condoms, rubbish, litter. Most of the beach often gets washed away, etc., etc. So there is a lot of things that, that really have tarnished the, the image of this beach. But you can see now in this aerial photography, it really is just incredible, it really is. And I think they've done a, a, just a, a, a massive improvement on this, a really, really good job. And I personally think this is a go-to beach. I would happily come down here and sit here and, and spend a day down here. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I would have no problem doing that at all. The other, the only side I would say is I wouldn't swim here. That, that's a, that, you know, that's a, a given, don't swim here. If you want to swim, there's lots of other places. But as you can see, you know, this is a really, really much improved area and definitely somewhere where I think you won't be going too far wrong if you were to come down and spend the day here. Now, if you enjoyed looking at that aerial photography, uh, that was kindly sent in by Kerry and he has got a link. It's in our description of this video below. So if you'd like to see more of his work, please have a look. There is a, a link in the description. Pop across, have a look. He's got some fantastic work there. Really, really great. And uh, luckily for us, there's a lot more aerial photography that he's gonna share with us, so brilliant. So thank you very much for that, Kerry. And uh, guys, please have a look, check it out below and uh, have a look at what he's got on offer. All right, so now I'm gonna head off up. Now what I thought we'd do today is I thought we'd have a wander around. We'd go and zigzag up. We're even gonna go into Boys Town that you lot keep saying to me, go into Boys Town, go into Boys Town. So I'm gonna go into Boys Town, so there you go. Um, but I wanna to talk to you about tipping because it really is something that I think you need to be very aware of and how it works, etc., etc. And uh, there's some great things I wanna show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head up uh, Soy 13.2, go 13.3, 13.4, all around that area. And uh, we'll also have a look at what's going on. And I'll tell you about some interesting things that are in this area as and when we reach them. All right, guys, so that's it. So let's head off and uh, let's go up 13.2. Okay, so we're gonna have a wander up 13.2. Now, quickly before we get into the tipping, I was asked by a gentleman the other day about hiring a big bike. He's an accomplished rider and he wants to go out on a motorbike. These are some of the big bikes you can hire here, as you can see. Um, I do know people that have used this service. They've not had a problem. So if you wanna hire some big bikes, there's lots of nice bikes here, if that's your thing. Personally, I would advise against it, but hey, listen, you're big boys now, you do what you want. So uh, this is where to come, Soy 13.2, if you wanna hire a big motorbike. Okay, so tipping. Now, I want to cover this because I don't want you to have an experience like I had when I went to New York, for example, because that ruined my holiday, simply because you couldn't cough without having a tip, and if you broke wind, you had to tip twice. I mean, it really was unbelievable that every single corner I turned, every single direction I went in, I was expected to tip. Now, fortunately out here, it's not quite as brutal, but nevertheless, there are areas where you will be expected to tip and it's courtesy and customary to tip. So I wanna go through those with you about how much you need to give, etc. Now, before I, I walk further up, a lot of you have been asking me about visas and I keep telling you about Manny Rat here on Soy 13.2. Go in and see that lady, she will take good care of you. She really is brilliant. Very, very professional, speaks perfect English and the service you can expect and that you will get is second to none. All right, so tipping. The question has to be is when do you tip and how much do you tip? 
And I think before we get into that, we need to address what kind of areas that you're going to be looking at where you should be expected to tip, or tipping may be an option. So obviously you've got things like the restaurants, all the restaurants with the service staff, even down to the small uh, stalls, you know, the little Thai stalls that sell the food off their carts. Pretty much most of the bars and the clubs, virtually all of those have service staff, and we'll talk about those in depth in a bit. So there is an opportunity there to do some tipping, as will the girls that you're interacting with. If you are interacting with anybody and you want to uh, reward her with a tip, again, that's a situation that will present itself. Now, as you know, I'm walking up here, Soy 13 too, and uh, massages, you know, even if you want a simple massage, maybe a foot massage or a body massage, whatever, again, there is that tipping situation where it will be presented with you when you come to pay your bill. And of course, if, you t if your uh, massage gets a little bit more interesting, again, there is a tipping uh, policy. So be prepared for any of those situations. Taxis. Now, taxis are an interesting one because if you ask a motorbike taxi how much, generally speaking, he will try his luck with you, okay? Generally speaking, he will try to up the price a little bit and get an extra 20 baht out of you. So always negotiate. If he says to you 80, offer him 50, he might come back at you and say, okay, 60. So don't be afraid to negotiate. Now, the tipping aspect I wanna talk about regarding taxis is Bolt. I've been talking to you a lot about this app this is called Bolt, B-O-L-T. And in all fairness, they have pretty much taken the taxi industry by the short and curlies and give it a good tug around because their prices are just ridiculously low. And I'm not talking about low, I'm talking about ridiculously low. I've got to talk up, come on. To the point that you can get an air-conditioned car and you can go on a journey from, say, the east side of Patea, the dark side. You can head all the way down to Beach Road. And believe it or not, you'll get change out of 100, 120 baht. You get on a motorbike taxi to do that journey, you'd be looking at 200, 200 plus. So that's the difference. So with these bolt taxis, personally, I always tip. Now, I'm not saying you have to but I'm just saying that personally, I always tip. And we'll cover that again in a little bit more detail later. And also hotels. You know, if you're staying in a hotel, then I guess when you go to leave, you may, may not consider leaving a tip for the service staff or for your hotel maid. And uh, that's again, something that we'll talk about in a little bit more detail. Now, just changing something very quickly. Over there, Zyka, Zyka Indian restaurant. If you like your Indian food, trust me, trust me, I'm a doctor, trust me, go in there, great food, great food. It's not cheap, but it's not overly expensive, but the quality of the food, very, very good. Very, very good. And incidentally, if you've not been here before, or you've not been upstairs, when you come past here, and I'm just gonna show you now, Royal Garden Plaza, when things return to normal, and uh, you head in here, there you go, easy to spot. Yeah, the old uh, pilot there's had a bit of a wrong turn. Go in there, go to the beach side, head upstairs to the food court, and when you sit outside, you can watch the sunset, and basically you can enjoy a beer up there, etc. It's a beautiful location. Definitely highly, highly recommended. And I would say it's called the Royal Garden Plaza and it's very, very well priced, not expensive at all. Highly recommended. So yeah, the Royal Garden Plaza, go up to the, uh, the food court from the very, very top. So what I'm gonna do up in a minute is we're gonna come up to where the Bay uh, the Baywalk Hotel is, and we're going to do a right down there. 
Then we're gonna head up uh, 13, three and down soy 13 4 and boys town and of course home to the well-known classroom and if you don't know peter hop into the classroom absolute legend brilliant guy been here a long long time definitely pop in and go and say hello to him okay so tipping i guess the question has to be why do you need to tip well a lot of the service staff here they work on very, very minimal wages. You know, it's not unusual to find a staff here working for seven, 8,000 baht a month. I know that will include a, maybe a small room somewhere or, and food during the day if they're in a hotel. But you know, it's, it's not a lot of money. It really isn't. And they work damn hard for what they get. So in terms of tipping, it pretty much is what they survive on. The money they earn, generally speaking, goes back to their families and the tips that they get contribute towards that. So for me, I like to tip. If I think the service has been, been good and it warrants a tip, then I like to tip. I'm not saying you should do it all the time and there are times when I don't do it and I'll explain those in a bit. But in general, I like to tip. The Ibiza bar, never been in there. Anybody been in there? If you have guys, drop a uh, comment. And also, the Boutique Hotel Patea. Now I understand, and again, it's not somewhere I've actually stayed in personally, but I understand it's a good quality hotel at very good prices. But as I say, truthfully, I've never been in there guys, so I can't tell you. How funky is that? Maybe I should get one of them and we could do a buzzing taxi service. <laughs> How brilliant would that be? Never say never. All right. So we're just walking through a little cut through here now. And in normal times, all these little shacks that you see in the middle here, these little stalls, used to be packed with lots of different goodies, all kinds of stuff you could buy in here. Sadly, obviously, as you can see right now, they're waiting to reopen. Fingers crossed that won't be too far in the future. And whenever it is, it can't come soon enough. So uh, yeah, it, it's a shame, but it is what it is. We can't change it. Okay, so tipping. Uh, let's talk about then restaurants now let's make sure he doesn't can we go left go left oh 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 there we go all right in restaurants so when you get the bill generally speaking the first thing you want to do is check that they haven't already added a tip or a service charge it does happen it's very easy to just disregard it and think it hasn't been put on. But just check because a lot of these places do add a service charge. Now that might not be an issue for you guys. You might be more than happy with that, that's fine. But I'm just saying to you, have a look at the bin and see if they've already added a service charge. Now if they have, you can ask for that service charge to be removed. Some will, some won't. But also, you've then got the decision, well, they've already charged me a service charge. Do I need to give that girl a tip again? And a lot of the, a lot of the times, if they've added a service charge, I won't tip. I might round it up, like it was like, I don't know, 75, 175, well, I'll make it 180. But uh, I wouldn't give a tip necessarily. But if there is no service charge, then I like to round it up. So if the bill's like 180 bar or 250 bar or 1,000 bar, whatever it is, you know, just, just round up, add a little bit to the, to, the, to, the, uh, to, the pin, to the bin, sorry. Now, on the subject of the bin, and this goes, generally speaking, with tipping throughout. If you put the, the, the tip inside the bin, I'm okay. I'm okay, thank you. If you put the tip inside the bin, that tip goes into the, uh, to the pot, which is then distributed between all of the staff. So the kitchen staff, the cleaner, everybody gets a share of that tip at the end of the month, they divvy it up. If you feel that the service staff that's been taking care of you has done a great job, well, put the, uh, the 20 bar, or whatever you're gonna give, put it underneath the, the, the uh, folder, the bin, 
and hand it to her. And she will recognize that there's no money inside the bin, but the money underneath is directly for her. Okay, directly for her. So if you are gonna give her a tip, make sure you place it outside of the bin. What I would also say is don't hand it to her blatantly, obviously, because some of them, that could possibly cause a problem because they're thinking, oh, I don't want everyone to see that I've had a, a tip personally. So just be a little bit cute with what you're doing. But in general, round it up. And as I say, if you want to give it to her personally, place it under the folder that you give back so that when she takes it off you, she knows it's there and she knows that's hers. Okay, so let's head up story 13.3. Now the next one you want to think about is massages. About how you tip or when you tip in a massage. Let's move the camera. A bit juddery today, I don't know what that is about. Right, let's try again. So when you go for a massage, you've got to first decide about what you want. So if you're looking for a foot massage, you can get a foot massage nowadays for 100 baht, 150 baht. You know, personally, I would say give them 50 baht tip each. You know, if, if, whichever, whichever girl does your massage, give them 50 baht, that's the norm. If you have a massage that's, let's just say, a little bit more uh, entertaining, well, then that's for you to decide between you and that person. But then you don't tip on top of that. So whatever you agree, that is it. But if you go in just for a normal massage, you know, you, 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 you normally tip about 50 baht, 100 baht. As I said about the taxis, now, don't forget to haggle on the taxis, but in fairness with the bolt taxis, I would always round it up. You know, if, if they've charged you, say 70 baht, I always give them 100. If it's 110, 120 baht, I'll give them 150. If it's 150, I'll give them 200. The, the, the cost that they charge you is minimal. It really is. So, uh, personally, I would look to, to uh, reward them. So, the last one is hotels. Now, a little tip for you, and please, I'm not teaching you guys to suck eggs. I'm sure you've been in hotels all around the world. But if you do want to reward the cleaning lady, the cleaning maid, do it a couple of days before you actually leave. And I'll tell you why, because the day you go to check out might be her day off. She might be sick. You might have missed that opportunity to give her the tip personally. And if that's the case, then trust me, whoever you give it to is not gonna hand it to her. Very unlikely. Just quickly, I wanna change the subject. Over there, see Tony Candy Shop? If you're looking for your t-shirts, designer t-shirts, that guy there, he's pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so let's head down to Soy 13.4. Beautiful days, I don't know why the camera's juddering around. It's on the gimbal as well, so it shouldn't be moving at all, really. Don't know. You know what I'm like with this modern technology. It does my head in, to be honest. Really does. I don't know if you watched the live stream the other day, but I was on there and I blocked someone. Dickin Scott, I blocked him. Didn't mean to block him. I meant to block this bell end that was giving me grief and uh, I blocked the wrong person. And then I couldn't find out getting back on. Oh man. All right, soy 13.4. Now this is where the classroom is, this place here in front of you. There you go there. Now I've mentioned this place many times. Peter is the owner, really nice guy. They've got rooms up top. Uh, there's a, it's a nice bar, they have live music. Lots of things go on there, really, really is a good bar. Pop in and see them. Uh, there are girls working in there, etc. And uh, it really is a nice place. Go and say hello to Peter. Now opposite, back in the day, let me spin around. Uh, let's just turn it around here. There we go, the Wild West. That used to be a boys club. And next door is the famous Kitten Club and Obsessions, this place here, which is now obviously up for the rent or sale. Maybe we could make it a buzzing place, what do you reckon? Big, Woo. But the uh, concept here 
was that uh, you'd go in and there used to be a line. In fact, if I stand in the right place, one second, it's around about there. And if you went in there, on the left-hand side were girls and on the right-hand side were lady boys. And you had to basically watch them because they would change lines and then before you know it, what you think was a girl turned out to be a guy. So you need to have your wits about you. Unless, of course, that's your cup of tea. And this place here, believe it or not, this is what used to be called the New Orleans. Let me spin up. It's juddering. I'm really happy about that. I was going to buy a new gimbal now. So that's New Orleans. Now, believe it or not, years and years ago when I first came here, my friend Lee and myself were going to buy that place. It was a restaurant. We were going to take it over. Lee was a famous musician. He was going to perform in there and uh, we were going to take it on and run it. Never came through because basically the guy that was selling there, a lot of things didn't add up. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's have a wander up Boys Town now and then I'll finish off down on the beach. Here we go. See? Who says I'm not man enough to come and have a crack round here? And don't just point out little bits of, well, it's all shut. That's irrelevant. I'm still in Boys Town. Do you know what? So one thing I love about this city is people just let people do what they want, be what they want, be how they want, and nobody cares, you know? Back in London, oh man, if, if I was to walk around the gay area, my Lord, <laughs> my Lord. But you know, here, this is the beauty of what I love about it. You can do what you want. As long as you're not hurting or harming anyone, no one cares. You know, if you want to walk around in, the, in the, the gay area, so be it. You do what you want. It really doesn't matter. And that's the thing I love a lot about this city, is you really are able to just be what, what uh, or follow whatever you want to do, etc., etc. Me, personally, I have no issue. I've got quite a few gay friends, and uh, oh, they're so funny. I've got one friend in particular, he's, he's just hilarious. I might try and get him on the channel, actually. He's so funny. He's like a Dale Winton, but on speed. All right, so this is Boys Town. Let's head back down because I want to go and finish off on the beach. Man, it's hot today. Man, it's hot today. All right. So, yeah, so where were we? Oh, I was talking about Peter. Oh, yeah, New Orleans. So, yeah, we never built, we never built it. We never bought the New Orleans. Um, there was a lot of things that were not adding up. And looking back, you see, this is where, obviously, people that ask me about, oh, are you gonna get a bar, or I wanna buy a bar, etc. I didn't realize, and nor did Lee, but even if we purchased that building, Lee couldn't perform because he didn't have a work permit. And we never knew anything like that. All those kind of things were just off the cuff, you know, you just expect to be able to chip up and uh, perform and, and no worries. But unfortunately, that wouldn't have been the case. We'd have been in a bit of hot water. But it is big, look at that. And to be fair, it was lovely. Now, I'm just gonna walk across the road and turn the camera around, because I wanna show you this bar, but there's people in there, so I don't really wanna make it obvious that they're on camera. They're not doing anything wrong, but I just respect their privacy. Okay, so let's spin around. There, the Shamrock Bar. Now that's a great place to stay. Um, really good, nice, friendly, lots of expats go in there. So if you are looking to meet people in the area that might or might not be able to help you out, the Shamrock Bar is one of them. All right, so as you can see now, we're heading down, we're nearly finished. I think I might go and get myself an ice cream. Can I have a whip, oh, who remembers Mr. Whippy ice creams? Oh man, they were the business. And a 99 flake popped in for good measure. Unbelievable. Well, oh, that breeze is lovely. Okay, guys, so let's head down. Really not happy about this game. I'm going to bin it in the sea in a minute. It seems to be juddering around a bit. I'm not happy about that. Bloody hell. If it ain't one thing, it's another. It's another. Okay. And again, I don't know about this place. So please don't hold me to it, but there you go. There's some more big bikes here. I don't know how much they are. Maybe I'll find out. What do you come? Okay, so it's a thousand baht for a day for any of these. Oh, oh my lord, hang on. There you go. Oh, I think I figured out why it's juddering. I 
think the the, uh, the little thumbstick thing. Yeah, a thousand baht for one day. And me jet jet wan me lot chame. If uh, for jet pan uh, jet wan me lot chame, me lot. Okay. So if you have for a week, they'll give you discount as well. So there you go. So if you are looking for a big bike, there they are. Damn. All righty. So let's head back over. Uh, they're going to turn left, so I better move out of the way. Look at that. It does look lovely, doesn't it? Got to be honest with you, this fucking thing's doing my head in. Why are you juddering around? All right, guys. So, looks like tomorrow I'm going to head down to Big C and buy a new gimbal. Because this one seems to be playing up a little bit. Disappointing. But there we are. And there's me bike. Well, not the, not the uh, orange and white one. Mine's a little crappy one further on with a seat that's desperately need a repair. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and let's wrap it up and finish off. All right, guys, so there you go. That's it for me today. So hopefully you found the tipping uh, video of interest. And uh, guys, you know, if, you, if you've got a rule of thumb or you've got some advice you'd like to share, please, you know, drop the comments below. That's what it's all about. That's what makes this channel so special is your interaction and uh, sharing all of your knowledge. Um, but hopefully you found that interesting. And uh, if anything, at least you got to see it in Boys Town. I told you I'd go in there, see, they check me out. And uh, you got to see this beautiful, I mean, look at this. It is just stunning, isn't it? It really, really is. I don't care what people say. I think this beach is absolutely top dollar, right? Com compared to how it used to be. And uh, like I say, please check out, check out Kerry's link down below if you, are, if you would like to see some of the photography he does and uh, take a look. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. And please, as always, remember hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when we bring out a new video. Check out our members area. More and more members are joining. Uh, we've got uh, loads of places on board now offering discounts. And I've also got places, bars, that will give you a free buzzing shot. So if you're out and about and you walk in, you'll get a free buzzing shot if you show your digital ID card. All right, so that's that one, guys. And yeah, lastly, on. our Discord. How you doing, buddy? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cycle tracks, yeah. Um, and also, don't forget to uh, join our Discord group. Now, our Discord group is brilliant. It's an interactive uh, chat, chat uh, forum where you can talk about all kinds of things and you interact. It's not like a forum where you send a message and you wait for someone to reply. This one's interactive. It's live. You can, you can get answers instantaneously. So please have a look at that. The link for Discord is down below. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are, stay safe.